One of the big missing things in medicine is the recognition that there are nutritional deficiencies that cause a lot of health problems. They kind of downplay that. Instead, you have this cause and effect relationship and the cause, which medically they call it idiopathic, which means unknown cause. So today I'm going to talk about six devastating problems with a nutritional deficiency. So the first one is called neurasthenia. Okay, this is a condition described where your nervous system and your brain is depleted. It's exhausted. And you're going to have all sorts of associated symptoms, fatigue, mood problems, like you're going to be probably apathetic. The nutrient that you need to supply in certain amounts and sufficient amounts is vitamin B3 in the form of niacin. And you need about 500 milligrams to start out with for maybe three days and then graduate up to about a thousand uh, milligrams of niacin every single day. You can split it up like 500 in the morning, 500 at lunchtime. Now, of course, given the fact that you're also changing your diet as well, you have to do other things, but niacin is the solution for that one. The next condition is Tourette's, sudden involuntary movements or verbal outburst. This problem is also a B3 deficiency, but to remedy it, you don't want to use niacin. You want to use the other version called niacinamide. So what you're really doing is you're supplying energy to the nervous system. And you need about 500 to 1,000 milligrams of niacinamide. Now, what's pretty wild about this is the first condition is where you have complete exhaustion of your brain and nervous system, and you're using niacin to help fix that. Whereas this condition, you're using niacinamide to generate more energy to calm down this sudden outbreak. So it's going to create a, a calming effect. Now, this next condition is pretty interesting. Uh, the name of it is called persecutory delusions. You can have various mental symptoms from a nutritional deficiency because persecutory delusions are basically the feeling that you're going to either be harmed or someone's going to mistreat you. I'm very much against when people start putting labels on people and diagnosing them. Most of these mental disorders are purely subjective. I mean, just think about what you would feel like if someone told you you were delusional, right? You're not going to be really happy about that. You're going to be very upset about that. And associated with that, you have apathy, you have disorganized thoughts, lack of clarity, lack of focus. And also from this one nutritional deficiency, you can have an auditory or a visual hallucination. And this deficiency is vitamin B12. A B12 deficiency can create a problem in your nervous system where it's affecting your perception on reality, and you can actually see certain things that are not there. The next one is restless leg syndrome. This is the urge to move your body, especially the lower part of your body, your legs, usually when you're sleeping. I had this for many years. In the middle of the night, it would wake me up. I had to pound my legs. I just could not be comfortable. And this is either a vitamin B1 deficiency or it could be an iron deficiency. Now, what could you do to figure out if it's one or the other? Well, you could go get a test for the deficiencies, but you first have to know that it could be either a B1 or an iron deficiency. There are a few other ways to quickly identify if it's an iron deficiency or a B1 deficiency. For example, if it's an iron deficiency, like anemia, um, the palm of your hands uh, might look a little pale. The inside of your eyelids will look a little pale. The nail beds look pale and white. So if you don't have that, chances are it could be more of a B1 deficiency, which is usually caused from consuming too many refined carbohydrates or sugar. Then we get something called panic, anxiety, worry, especially if you are thinking, 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 especially before bed and cannot turn it off. This is usually a B1 deficiency. Uh, I wouldn't worry about taking high doses of B1 because vitamin B1 is water soluble. Now you could take the fat soluble one as well called benfotamine, but I find that that one is more for peripheral neuropathy. You want to just take the regular natural version of B1 for these other issues. But it's quite amazing. In practice, I would use it and within minutes, a person would just feel very calm and very good. If you haven't tried it, you might want to try it. And the last one is the sensation of impending doom, like something bad is going to happen. This is another example of a mental problem that's coming from 
a physical nutrient deficiency. And this one is vitamin D3. I would recommend 20,000 I use of vitamin D3 daily for a few months. Now, these are all really interesting cause effect relationships. If you haven't seen my other video on identifying nutritional deficiencies based on certain symptoms, I put that video up right here. Check it out.